Maintaining the concentration of hydrogen ions is an important homeostatic process. Virtually every biochemical process in the body depends on the pH of the solution. Even a small change in the concentration will affect the structure and function of proteins, thereby the biochemical process will get affected. So the concentration must be maintained in a narrow range. The average normal value of H plus ion concentration is 40 nanoequivalents per liter. If expressed as pH, which is the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration, it becomes 7.4. Metabolism of certain amino acids results in the formation of H plus ions, which will try to increase the concentration in the body. Any rise in the H plus ion concentration is minimized by the buffers. Bicarbonate is the major buffer in the extracellular fluid. The H plus ions combine with bicarbonate ion to form water and carbon dioxide. This reversible reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Metabolism of glucose and fatty acid continuously produce carbon dioxide which tends to increase the H plus ion concentration by facilitating the reverse reaction. The carbon dioxide load is handled by the respiratory system. So the CO2 is exhaled through the lungs, hence the acid load due to the CO2 production is called as a volatile acid. In contrast, the acid load due to direct production of H plus ions is called as fixed acid load. The kidneys are responsible for removing the excess H plus ions in the urine. If the urine becomes too acidic, it causes discomfort while voiding and kidneys itself have a limited capacity to acidify the urine. So the buffers are added to the urine which decreases the free hydrogen ion concentration and maintains the pH. Inorganic phosphate and ammonia are major urinary buffers. Though the hydrogen ions can combine with bicarbonate and the resulting carbon dioxide can be expired through the lungs, this process consumes a bicarbonate which must be synthesized newly. The formation of new bicarbonate is done by the kidneys. The kidneys also reabsorb the filtered bicarbonates and they can secrete bicarbonate if necessary. As you can see, there are multiple processes happening which can all affect the pH. Hence, the pH homeostasis is also complex. It involves multiple control systems with sensors detecting H plus ions, bicarbonate ions, CO2 levels and multiple effectors mediating changes through various organs. The carbon dioxide concentration is sensed through the peripheral chemoreceptors located in the aortic and the carotid bodies which regulates the respiration through the respiratory centers in the brain. The H plus ion concentration is sensed by the central chemoreceptors located in the medulla which regulates the respiration through the respiratory centers. Kidneys have multiple sensors for detecting the ECF concentration of hydrogen ions, bicarbonate and CO2 levels also. Different cells in kidney senses each of these molecules and they all regulate the hydrogen ion secretion and the bicarbonate reabsorption in the kidney. There are multiple hormones involved in this process of pH homeostasis. Acidosis stimulates the secretion of angiotensin to endothelin glucocorticoids and all these hormones increases the secretion of hydrogen ions in the kidney. Acidosis also stimulates a parathyroid hormone release which decreases the phosphate reabsorption and makes more phosphate available in the urine which increases the buffering capacity of the urine. So this is the overview of all the processes related to the pH homeostasis. We will discuss the underlying mechanisms in detail under renal physiology and respiratory physiology. Thanks for watching.